I find myself a guitar player and I just uh What was the, the future for a young black kid uh, 30 or 40 years ago in the South? Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, almost like what you see for him now. You know, it's things now, it's almost like it was 30, 40 years ago, there's no jobs. I mean, the, for 30, 40, 50 years ago, if you got an education, you had a better change. But even with education, now it's nothing to do. married to the music blues and my guitar for life and uh, if you run into a, a, a lady and you love her hard enough that's for life and if she love you that's hard enough my guitar only speaks back to me when I ask it to speak back and I'm married to that my wife don't come between me and my guitar <laughs> N'est-ce pas frustrant d'avoir moins de reconnaissance que des guitaristes blancs comme Eric Clapton qui pourtant se réclament de vous I'm very religious. I don't know. I think what's for you in life, you're going to get it. What's not for you, you're not going to get it. I don't think the color of my skin had anything to do with it. I do think being at the right place at the right time has something to do with it. America wasn't ready for the wild guitar. Because right now, you don't find, yeah, I don't think you've seen a, 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 a blues player on MTV yet. You know, and, and, and you'll find Eric and every, every guitar player that you know, what they consider as a rock guitars or whatever on there, but you don't see a John Lee Hook or a Muddy Waters face or a Buddy Guy face on the MTV. Now, why is that? Maybe you can answer that. How come? La télé aussi, c'est fini